in this video i will explain you complete details about the various types of slabs that are used in construction of any kind of the building okay so this is one of the most important topic so if you are new to our channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concept so if you like this video please click on like button so that it will be helpful for me for creating better content for you so basically slabs are nothing but the horizontal member that is helpful for transferring the load which is related to your respected dead loading condition as well as your live loading condition to the beam member so that the beam member will be uh, take the respected load and it will be transferred to the column member okay so this is the main purpose of the uh, slab section which is used in construction of building okay so basically uh, depends upon the usage and depends upon the architectural purpose depends upon the quality we have different types of the slabs are there okay so majorly we will use 10 types of the slabs uh, for construction of any kind of the building whether it is your respected small house whether it is your medium rise house whether it is your high rise house basically we will use this respected uh, slab sections okay in that first one is one way slab on beams okay so this is the first one and second one is one way joist uh, slab and third one is uh, grid slab system and fourth one is flat slab system fifth one is two way slab and sixth one is halo core slab and seventh one is hardy slab eighth one is bubble deck slab ninth one is uh, composite slab and last one is pre-cast slab okay so depends upon the respected usage we can select this respected slab section so initially i will explain you the all the concepts which are related to the uh, slab sections okay in that first one is uh, one way slabs on beams okay so basically this respected slab will be helpful for distributing the load in one direction only whether it is in x direction or whether it is in y direction but the load distribution will be occur only in one direction due to presence of the beams in the one directional only okay so basically we will use this respected slab for the span of 3 meter to 6 meter and live load on that respected slab is 3 kilonewton per meter square to 5 kilonewton per meter square okay so one distribution load with the help of uh, 3 meter to 6 meter span along with that we have to take the consideration size uh, 3 kilonewton per meter square to 5 kilonewton per meter square okay this is the one way slab system okay second one is one way joist system okay so this is slab also similar to your respected uh, one way slab system so but in the one way slab system we are distributing the load in one direction only so in this the distribution of the load in one direction can be done with the help of the rc ribs okay so basically we will place rc ribs under the beam sections and we will construct the slab on that existing rc beams okay so the load distribution will be take in one directional only for this respected slab section it is required the minimum span is 6 meter to 9 meter and the live load on that respected slab we need to consider is 4 kilonewton per meter square to 6 kilonewton per meter square okay this is the requirement for this respected one way joist slab okay so now i will explain you complete details about the grid slab system so grid slab system is one of the most important topic in architecture engineering basically the grids are provided under the slab section for distributing the load through the internal members so this is the process of grid slab system so for this respected grid slab system basically we will consider the minimum span for this respected grid slab system is 9 meter to 15 meter and the live load we will consider for this respected grid slab system is 4 kilonewton per meter square to 7 kilonewton per meter square okay so this is the requirement for this respected grid slab system so next one is flat slab system so basically flat slab systems are nowadays most important in civil engineering purpose so basic concept of flat slab system is that slab section was constructed without using the beam sections okay so whatever the slab section is there that is supported by the column members only so this is the main concept of the flat slab system for this respected flat slab system if you want to construct any one of the building with this respected flat slab system you need to consider the minimum spacing for the span is 6 meter to 9 meter and we need to consider the live load for that respected flat slab is 4 kilonewton per meter square to 7 kilonewton per meter square okay so this is the requirement for this respected flat slab system okay so now next slab is two-way slab system so this is one of the most important slab most of the civil engineers will suggest you to this respect as slab system so why because the load distribution will be occur in this two-way slab system in two direction only why because we are providing the horizontal members as well as your uh, vertical members in x direction as well as y direction for the two-way slab system so along with this respect as slab system the load distribution will be occur in x direction as well as y direction okay so this is the main concept of the two-way slab system 
if you think about the deflection point of view, the deflection value will be less for the two-way slab system as we compare with single slab system. Okay. So for this respected two-way slab system, it is required minimum of six meter to nine meter span, and it is required. So it is required line load of three kilonewton per meter square to six kilonewton per meter square. Okay. So it is required six meter to nine meter span and three kilonewton per meter square to six kilonewton per meter square. Just we need to consider these respected values as minimum for construction of any kind of the building which is related to your uh, two way slab system okay and the next one is halo slab system so if you want to construct any one of the building which is related to the economic point of view as well as your if you want to decrease the weight of the slab generally the engineers will be suggested you to construct the building with a slab of hollow slab system basically the halo slab system will be constructed with the help of the precast members so we will provide the halo system in order to distribute the load in horizontal as well as your vertical direction system so the halo core holes will be provided for distributing the load and along with that respected halo wall system we will provide the reinforcement section so this is one of the most important slab to decrease the weight of the uh, respected member so for this respected halo slab system we will consider the span is 15 meter and we need to consider the line load on that respected slab member is 2.5 kilonewton per meter square okay so i will provide you that respected halo slab system on the right hand side screen you can check that halo slab system image so that you will clearly understand the concepts here okay so next one is hardy slab system so basically hardy slab system is nothing but the slab system which is constructed with the help of hardy bricks okay so this is one of the most important one for decreasing the density of the concrete member basically we will use hardy slab system okay so this respected hardy slab system is also gives you high strength for the slab system so hardy bricks are provided for construction of this respected slab system okay so this is the seventh one so for this respected slab system it is required 5 meter span so it is required 5 meter span so along with that we will consider the line load on that respected slab is 3.5 kilonewton per meter square okay so this is the seventh one and eighth one is bubble deck slab okay so this is one of the most important one basically for construction of any kind of the building we will use top reinforcement as well as your bottom reinforcement for this respected slab section so in between these respected top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement we will use bubble decks okay so the main purpose of this using bubble deck slab is to decrease the weight of the slab okay so at the same time by using the bubble deck technologies the strength will be increases okay so this is the main advantage for this bubble deck slab system okay so this is the eighth one and we need to consider the minimum spacing for the double deck slab system will be 4 meter and we need to consider the live load on the respected member is 2.5 kilonewton per meter square okay so this is the requirement for this double deck slab system and next one is composite slab system so this is also one of the most important slab section which is related to the composite slab section so basically for this respected uh, slab section reinforcement section will be constructed on an existing steel section okay the existing steel section will be used as foam work so on that existing steel section we will pour the concrete okay we need to decrease the steel section uh, reinforcement section also so this is the combination of your uh, concrete member as well as your steel member so this is comes under your composite slab section and ninth one and last one is precast members okay so precast slab is one of the most important topic that will be helpful for construction of high rise buildings which is related to the metro projects and which is related to the high rise uh, skyscraper buildings basically we will use precast members the slab member is constructed in the industry and then it is distributed to the construction site so in the construction site that slab member will be directly installed as a precast member okay so we will construct the slab member before construction of the site so we will transfer that respective slab member precast member to the site at that respective slab depends upon your requirement they will install the slab section okay so this is the precast member okay basically for this respective precast member we will use the span of the slab is approximately 50 meter length okay so for this respective slab member we will use basically 4.5 to 5 kilonewton per meter square is the line load for this respected member okay so this is the concept different types of the slab and what is the minimum span we need to consider for construction of any kind of the respected slab and what are the line load we need to consider for this slab okay so which is comes under your one way slab on the beams and one way slab on the joist member grid slab system flat slab system and uh, two way slab system and uh, hollow slab system hardy slab system and bubble deck reinforcement section 
composite slab system as well as your precast members okay so these are the different types of the slabs okay if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected question so if you like this video please click on like button it will help me to create the better content for you thank you